Okay, now just now we have learned heat capacity, yeah? okay? There's how much energy to change one uh, degree Celsius of the temperatures of an object, okay? Then how about specific heat capacity? So what is specific heat capacity? Specific heat capacity is the amount of heat required to change the temperatures of one kg of a substance by one degree Celsius, okay? Just now we learned that for this uh, heat capacity, okay, if the object is small, then it has a smaller heat capacity, and if the object is big, then his, it has a bigger uh, heat capacity, okay. And let's say, okay, let's say this one, okay, the mass is 1 kg, and this one, the mass is a 4 kg, okay, 4 kg. And let's say this, uh, the block, uh, the smaller box, the heat capacity is um, 200, 200 Joule per degree Celsius, okay? Which means, uh, which means uh, we need 200 Joule to change the temperature by one degree Celsius. Now, if uh, for the bigger block, okay, if the mass is uh, 4 kg, okay, then the heat capacity will be four times higher than this because the mass is four times. Eh? So the heat also four times higher than this. Eh? Uh, so four, sorry, uh, 800 Joule, okay? So then this, the heat capacity will be 800 Joule per degree Celsius, eh? okay? So for uh, heat capacity, it depends on the size of the object, okay? Even though uh, the materials, is the same. Eh? The material that we use to make, make uh, these two blocks is the same, but the higher the mass, the higher the heat capacity, okay? That is the heat capacity. But for specific heat capacity, okay, it's already stated that the heat capacity is specifically for one kg of the substance, okay? One kg of the substance. So, no matter the object is big or small, we don't care, okay? We just need to know, we just want to know how much energy is needed to change the temperature of one kg of the substance by one degree Celsius, okay? So in this case, uh, in this case, uh, the specific heat capacity is this one, okay? Because this is the heat needed to change the temperature by one degree Celsius of one kg of the object. Uh. So the specific heat capacity, specific heat capacity is 200 Joule per degree Celsius per kg, okay, per kg. That is the difference between uh, heat capacity and specific heat capacity. Heat capacity is for object, okay? Specific heat capacity is for specifically for one kg of the substance. Okay, just, just one kg, okay? How big of the object we don't care, okay? For example, this one, this one, the specific heat capacity is 200 Joule per degree Celsius per kg. This one also 200 Joule per degree Celsius per kg, yeah? okay? 800 Joules to increase the temperatures of four kg by one degree Celsius means that 200 Joule for one kg, yeah? 800 Joule for four kg means 200 Joule for one kg. So uh, this one, the specific heat capacity is still the same. So as long as the material is the same, right? let's say both of these is uh, ions, okay? So the material is the same, then the specific heat capacity is also the same. So that is uh, the difference between heat capacity and specific heat capacity. Specific heat capacity is how much heat energy is needed to change one kg. It must be one kg, okay? Just one kg of a substance by one degree Celsius. So it's the amount of heat required to change the temperatures of one kg of a substance by one degree Celsius. And uh, for example, the specific heat capacities of water is uh, 4,200 Joule per kg per degree Celsius. It means we need 4,200 Joule of heat energy to change the temperatures of one kg of water by one degree Celsius. So with this uh, concept of specific heat capacity, then the amount of heat change or the amount of energy needed. Let me give you this example, okay? Okay, let's say we have a block and let's say the specific heat capacity C equal to 200 Joule per kg per degree Celsius. 
the mass okay the mass of this uh, block is uh, let's say 8 kg 8 kg and then some let's say we want to change the temperature okay initially the temperature is uh, 27 degrees celsius we want to increase the temperature to uh, 30 degrees celsius okay so it means the change of the temperature is equal to 3 degrees celsius okay from here okay how much energy we need to give so how much energy we need to give the thermal energy we need to give to this block to change the temperatures of the block from 27 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius okay so 200 joule 200 joules for 1 kg right 200 joule for 1 kg but we have 8 kg so the amount of energy needed will be 8 times right 200 joule is just for 1 kg but we have 8 kg so the energy needed is 8 times so we multiply by 8 okay but this is only for 1 degree celsius 1 degree celsius but we want to change the temperature by 3 degree celsius so we need to multiply by 3 so you see the heat energy needed is equal to the specific heat capacity multiplied by the mass and multiply by the temperature change uh, that's why we have this formula mc theta let's ex ex exchange this okay so uh, we put mc theta uh, so that is the formula for us to find the energy change or energy needed to change the temperature q equals to mc theta this one is for one kg one degree celsius if we have eight kg we multiply by eight and to change the temperature three degrees celsius we times three q equals to mc delta theta okay in your book uh, you may write the mc theta okay now delta this one uh, pronounced as delta this triangle this triangle pronounced as delta okay it means change it means change okay so change of the temperature uh, in your book it may give you just mc theta okay but in some book they may give you mc delta theta okay but anyway you just need to remember this this either delta theta or theta it, it it means change of the temperature it's not the temperature okay it's not the temperature it's the change of the temperature that is uh specific heat capacity and the formula for us to calculate the heat change uh let's see this example okay the first one the first one uh you give a uh, three thousand joule to a block of one kg and you find that the temperature increases by two degrees celsius okay you give three thousand joule of one to one kg block the temperature increase by two degrees celsius okay so can you please tell me what is the specific heat capacities of this block 1500 that's correct okay that's correct why 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 1500 500 joule per kg per degree celsius why because 3000 joule increase the temperature by by two degrees celsius so we need half of this half of this uh, just 1500 joule uh, to increase the temperature by one degree celsius uh, and this is one kg so the specific heat capacity is for one kg okay so we don't need to change this uh. okay so 3000 joule two degrees celsius 1500 joule one degree celsius and uh what about this one this one okay uh given that uh this block two kg okay two kg and the specific heat capacity is a 400 joule per kg per degree celsius and we give heat energy 6000 joule to this block so what is the temperature change what's the temperature change okay now try not to use this formula okay try not to use this formula try to use your common sense simple mathematics okay 400 joule for one kg right 400 joule for one kg uh, let's write here okay 400 joule for 1 kg so 800 joule is needed for 2 kg right 800 joule is needed to change the temperature by 1 degree celsius uh, for 2 kg object 
But this one, we give 6,000 joule. We need 800 joules to change the temperature by 1 degree Celsius, but we give 6,000 joule. So how much is the temperature change? So the temperature change is equal to 6,000 divided by 800, right? What's the answer? 6,000 over 800, 7.5, right? 7.5 degrees Celsius. Yes, that's correct. Just use simple mathematics, okay? 7.5 degree Celsius, eh? okay? So 400 joule for 1 kg, 800 joule for 2 kg, okay? And 6,000 joule, 6,000 joule, 6,000 divided by 800, so 7.5 degrees Celsius, okay? Of course, you can use this formula for your calculations, but now, just for you to understand more, okay, about this uh, specific heat capacity list, do not use this. Try to understand it first. Now, how about this one, okay? This one, a uh, heat, not harbor, heat. Okay, heat, heat, okay. 1,000 joule per kg per degree Celsius, uh, the specific heat capacity. And this is 1.5 kg, okay? 1.5 kg. Let's say the heat supply. Uh, the heat supply is uh, 3,000 joule, okay? 3,000 joule. So, how much the temperature will increase? Try not to use this formula. Try to use your common sense or your mathematics sense. So, from the specific heat capacity, we know that we need 1,000 joule to increase 1 kg of object by 1 degree Celsius. But uh, now this is 1.5 kg, so we need 1,000 500 joule for 1.5 kg but we have 3000 joule 3000 joule okay so the temperature change will be 3000 divided by 1500 equals to 2 degree celsius so what is specific heat capacity specific heat capacity of a solid or liquid is defined as the heat required to raise uh, unit mass. Unit mass means 1 kg. Eh? 1 kg of a mass of a substance by 1 degree of temperature. And it can be stated by the following equations. Q equals mc theta. Q is the heat supply to the substance. C is the specific heat capacity. M is the mass. And uh, delta theta is the temperature. Temperature change.